Shift lovers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and today we're going to do an overview on the Bancroft RMS Titanic that you see here. She is absolutely stunning, ready to run model. So, out of the box, your Titanic is going to look just like this. Um, you don't have to do much as far as any setup. Everything's pretty much installed already. Your receiver's installed, ESC's installed. You just got to charge the battery. Do some ballast, um, so you're gonna have to add ballast to this thing to get it to, you know, sit correctly in the water. And what you see before you is everything that's gonna come out of it. Now, just some of the stats on it. Again, she is 53 and a half inches, or I believe 1360 millimeter. Um, so it's a good size. It's 200 scale uh, Titanic. So uh, just keep that in mind for guys who uh, want to know the, uh, the scale. But um. With that scale, you get a lot of beautiful detail on here. Um, just taking a look again out of the box, all, all the decking is hardwood, all the railings are metal uh, all around, the, the, from the benches that you'd see, uh, the mess, all the rigging is already done, and uh, you can see the footage coming out of the box. Um, I would recommend if you buy this model, don't cut the box the way I did. I, I cut the sides just to show you um, you know, how it's all packaged up. All that foam there really protects it. I'm not gonna lie, for whatever reason, the uh, UPS, even though it said fragile this side up, they had it sitting on its side when it was <laughs> when, it, when it showed up, and I was a little annoyed thinking, oh no, but when you open it up, the way they box it, they could smash the thing and uh, the box, if anything, and it's not gonna damage the model. They do a really great job. So I don't recommend opening the box again the way I did. I would recommend saving all that foam because you can put the model right back in there and it's excellent for transportation. You know, if you're going to try to bring your model in your car and just do it uh, on this, like it comes with this wood uh, stand, you're going to risk jamming on your brakes, sliding this thing all over. You don't want to do that. Those foam pieces for the front and the back and the sides are all excellent, can be put right back around it uh, when you transport it. So if you're putting your money into this model, then definitely save that packaging um, until maybe you come up with your own way to uh, properly transport it. But uh, that's just a good little tip there. But coming out of the box again, you're gonna get your transmitter, which looks more like an aircraft transmitter, but it's all, all ready to go. And all it does, again, one side is for your throttle, forwards and reverse, and the other side is for your rudder, turning left and right. That's all the functionality um, that, that this boat requires. You do get a charger that you can plug in and charge your battery, and it comes with a 2800 2S LiPo, which I already have inside, so I'm gonna show you that in a little bit when we get in there. And then um, just some of the little pieces, really the only detail pieces that, um, that come off the model on and off are going to be these little caps. They're shaped like, you know, boxes you'd see on the deck of a, you know, of a boat and they have magnets inside and they are to hide the four screws that you need to remove the top to get inside access. So right now I have these open because, you know, um, so I can take it off and show you. But uh, once you screw it all down, you uh, pop these right on top and you'll see footage here. And, uh, you know, it just hides them really nicely and just uh, well done. You do get a manual. You get the Allen key that's going to fit those four screws because those are the only four screws you need. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all you're getting out of the box uh, right away. So when you pull it out, you will see some of your rigging is not going to be attached. So let's get into that. If you're going to take, because uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is take the top off. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. There's only three bits of rigging that you need to unclip, if you will, to uh, be able to take the top off and, uh, you know, and get going. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way real quick and let's get to it. So the first one are these wiring that come right down. There's just a little, a little notch here and all you do, again, you just pop that off. And then what I like to do, what I try to do, I just, I just hang it up on the top here. You know, it might fall off, but that's the first one. And then the other two are for the back mast. So you'll see these two uh, wires, if you will. One just same same thing, they clip off here. And I just dropped this into the, uh, you know, into the, the vent here. And then the other one I'm taking off and just put there, because you don't want to twist them. You don't want to risk you know, getting any knots or anything. But so this rigging up top stays. You're able to remove this compartment from there. So then you take the provided Allen key, you'd loosen up these four screws, and I could take them, I'll take them out right now. 
one, two, and then the other two are right up front here by the captain's uh, spot. So we can put those down. And now you are ready to, uh, to take the top off. And what I do, I grabbed it from here and it just easily slides right out and boom. Now you have plenty of access to get inside and you'll be able to see uh, inside what we got going on here. So inside you're gonna see your installed ESC. They already have that secured with a uh, zip tie up against the side of the hull. You've got your uh, receiver already installed and there's an on and off switch attached to that receiver so you can leave your battery plugged in, turn it on and off, but you do always have to access it here. Then you're gonna see your one big servo, that's for your rudder. And then you're gonna see that triple drive motor system. Inside, this thing is powered by three 550 brush motors all working together. And then the biggest concern with this is how to balance this model. So um, what you're gonna to wanna to do, like we're gonna show you here, is uh, obviously you're gonna need a lot of weight. So first things first, what a lot of guys use, and again, there's a million ways to skin a cat. I went over to Walmart and I got BBs. I got two of these packs. These were the biggest packs you can get. Um, they weigh about four pounds, five pounds for a whole set. And I needed almost all of them to get this to ballast. So I have about almost eight pounds, uh, seven pounds of BBs uh, scattered throughout. Now there's a different bunch of different ways to do it, but my recommendation is go fill up your bathtub, get it nice and high so you have enough room to uh, have this model go in. Cause you see how tall the Titanic is? You're gonna wanna get the water line where the red meets the black. That's basically your goal. And you're gonna wanna do it evenly. So as you, you know, what I did is a bunch of, I use Ziploc bags. So I took a Ziploc bag, I put some BBs in, and then I would pour the BBs in and watch what happens with the boat, holding on to the boat as it goes. You don't want to capsize it, um, you know, have it turn over. That would be, that would be a nightmare. But what you have to do, what I ended up doing, I had three bags of BBs. One is pushed more to the front so that I get balanced that way, one to the back, and then one in dead center spread out to uh, stop the boat from going side to side. It took maybe maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes just to, to get it right. But you could do it a lot of ways. I've, I've read where guys will just pour the BBs into the bottom of the boat entirely, let them fill the bottom, and then they'll fill that with glue and never remove it. I personally, I didn't even tape them down for the uh, driving portion of this because I wanted access to it. I wanted to be able to show you how I did it. So like, I'm just take one bag out here, but like this was just the bag of BBs I had in the front, you know, uh, it's a good amount of weight and BBs and that helped me get the balance. And I was just in there pushing because again, the Titanic, these boats aren't gonna drive too fast. I, I was surely, as I'm driving around the lake, didn't expect these things to slide around in any way. But uh, I would suggest taping them down at least um, once you have the ballast, because you might not remove it. But for the purpose of maybe transportation, maybe you don't want all the weight in there all the time you want to get access to it, um, you know, you could do it that way. So I would recommend, if anything, maybe you fill up multiple one pound bags. So get yourself a scale if you have it, make, make six or seven one pound bags of BBs, and then you could place them all around. Uh, Cause again, there's a lot of ways to do it, but at least then it's removable if you do need to get access uh, into it. You don't want to mess anything up, but you know, it's all up to you how you do it. But uh, just be sure you do it right because, and always try to keep a hand. Maybe, maybe you get a friend uh, to help you when you ballast because um, I noticed as I was ballasting it, I had it with the top off and it seemed like it was okay. But the second I put the top on, that added more top heavy weight and it wanted to go over. So I had to get in there, maneuver things around. But once I got it, uh, you could tell that you could push it in the in the you know in the tub and it wasn't going to go over so i knew that's where it was going to be and i didn't have to move it so that's like the biggest thing you're going to the biggest hurdle you're going to have to do if you're new to boating you want to get this thing in the lake or the pool or wherever you're going to take it um, getting that balance right is imperative um, to having success with the model and once that's correct you'll never have to touch it again you could lock it down and be good to go and then when you want to get the top back on, it's as simple as lining it up, putting it down, and then reattaching your four screws. 
on the top and then reattaching the three rigging. So really seven things need to be reattached and you are ready to, uh, you are ready to go with your Titanic. So again, just looking around the top from the lifeboats to the stacks, to the mass, the rigging, all the stuff in the front. I love, you know, I love the, just, just the Titanic, the iconic shot on the front. I feel like we've all seen those shots of, you know, that old school footage looking up at the front of that massive ship at the time. You know, now it's, now it's puny compared to the cruise ships that exist today. But uh, back then, this was no puny thing. Was a, would have been a sight to behold uh, in real life. And uh, obviously, the unfortunate uh, maiden that she's known for, um, you know, just is what it is. What are you gonna do? They made a great movie out of it, I guess, and uh, we all know that one. But looking at that as a joke, just looking at the front of that hull, no way they were letting any people climb to the front, <laughs> climb to the front of that, and stand at the top and uh, pretend they were flying. So that was a little movie. Uh, that's a movie lie, I guess, just for the sake of that. But overall. I was super impressed with the Titanic, guys, taking it out. Again, she's a ship, so it's not going to go too fast. Um, even at full throttle, as you can see here, like, um, it still looks scale, but I was driving around about half throttle. Nice slow turns. She's a beauty. And what's great about all of these Bancraft warships and boats, they, they just also make great static models. I mean, the amount of level of detail in here uh, to get to, if you were going to try to make this yourself, um, <laughs> it's gonna cost take a lot of time, you know, and time is money, but this this is like a mantelpiece for sure And the fact that you can place it in the water and just you know be able to drive it around nice and relaxingly If you're a water person, um, you're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this So I I know I did um, it's the type of thing I'm excited to get it out to some shows and events I know Joe Nall has a lake there, so I plan on taking that taking it there just to uh, drive it around. And then I can only imagine what, what customizers would do with something like this. Like right away, I'm thinking, how cool would it be to get a smoke machine? Like maybe you take a smoke machine from one of the Henglong tanks we have, or the Toro tanks. You can totally get that inside, probably would help your ballast anyway, and you know, get some, get some of that white smoke coming out of the stacks would just add an extra level of detail, which would be nice. Um, but other than that, She's absolutely beautiful. And then maybe some lights. You know, obviously, if you can get in here and somehow get some LEDs behind some of the some of the lights so it would look like, you know, this party happening on the deck and stuff uh, as it goes. You could really go, a lot of guys could really go hard with the scale detail if you wish. But even if just out of the box, what you're getting here is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm so happy that we have it here at Motion RC finally uh, for you guys to enjoy. We've definitely got a few comments. I've seen a lot of posts on social media of guys who've gotten this now and they're loving it. And uh, I absolutely love it as well. So I think that about goes over everything for the Titanic guys. You know, when you take it out just again, it really comes down to that ballast. But once that's there, getting it in the water, getting it going is very, uh, very simple and very satisfying as you drive it around. So guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber because we'll be doing more ships, more cars, more boats, more helicopters, more planes, more jets, more everything at Motion RC's YouTube channel. We want you to come along for the ride. So that'll do it for us here today, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.